president is someone who sees America as imperfect enough to pal around with terrorists who targeted their own country. Maria Cardona is a former senior Clinton advisor and an Obama supporter. Maria, how does the Obama campaign counter this style of attack? Well, first of all, they counter it by putting the truth out, which is that Senator Obama and, and Bill Ayers, the person that she's talking about, have absolutely no association whatsoever. But secondly, I think what they're going to do is they're going to continue to talk about the real solutions that American families are looking for. It's the reason why John McCain is behind. It's the reason why Senator Obama is cementing his lead nationally and in the battleground states. And it's the reason why Senator McCain's campaign is now embarking on this blatant and and transparent desperation move because clearly they couldn't connect on substance and on issues and on message and so now they're trying to make this campaign about Senator Obama's character and it's not going to work because I think voters are looking for real solutions and Senator Obama is the one that's offering those. Okay Maria, we always hear it from the voters, from the candidates, uh, negative campaigning doesn't work but it does seem to work. Is that still the case or, or have time ch changed? I think definitely times have changed. You know, this is not 1988. And I think that right now we're finding ourselves where this economy is in such dire straits. Both our foreign policy as well as our econo economic policy are going down the drain after these last eight years of disastrous Republican policies. And what we're seeing is two campaigns. One, they are, are completely following the same failed policies of George Bush, and that's, and that's John McCain. And the second one, Senator Obama, who is actually offering optimism, real solutions to these very critical problems that we are facing as a country. And I think you're seeing voters respond to Senator Obama's message and not to Senator McCain's message. And I think that unfortunately, it's disappointing that this is coming from Senator McCain, who from the beginning has said that he wants to run an above board campaign, something that is positive, something that does not go negative, and this is exactly what he's doing. Okay, let's talk a little about the issues. This weekend, it has been health care with the economy not far behind. What can we expect the Obama campaign to continue to focus on as we head into the home stretch now? I think you can, you can expect that he will continue to focus on issues that are at the fundamental, um, uh, the, at the fundamental point that voters are looking for change, and health care is definitely one of them. You can't really uh, dissect health care and take it away from our economic situation because the lack of health care is one of the reasons why American families are hurting so much. So you're going to continue to see Senator Obama focus on how he's going to be able to offer health care for everybody, how he's going to be able to offer real relief to 101 million American families and how he's going to be able to push a hundred and fifty billion dollar uh, plan to create jobs in this country and to make sure that we continue on the on on putting America's economy on the right path because what we've seen from these last eight years are clearly policies that have put us in a fix and American families are really hurting right now and Senator Obama is going to bring the change that we need. Well, Maria Cardona thank you for joining us today from Washington we appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.